Sarah Longmore, daughter of... What, the Attorney General? I'm looking for my sister, Tina. Have you heard from our Tina at all? She's still overseas, isn't she? Oh, no, she's back. They've killed Wayne, and they're after me. These numbers here... Uh... Yeah, oh. Who is P. Rockant? So I checked the company out. It was registered under a Driscoll Holdings. Right, that is where I would start. We really aren't able to give out any information about our clients. I can see 25000 was transferred into your account from the Holman Deng Bank. With hands in the air, we reach for home! Where's Tina? I know she's back. Uh, Janine, isn't it? Uh, why don't you just come past my office? We can sort out whatever this is. I'll just have a white coffee, thanks. I'm so pleased you called. Look, whatever's happened to you, there's nothing more important to me than bringing you back to the flock. Spare me. They killed Wayne. As Jesus is my Lord and Saviour, I just do not know what you are talking about. Seriously, you don't know what's happening in your own church. Uh, well, sorry, there's no need to hover, just um, put it down. Thank you very much, Sadie. Well, I need to know everything, Janine, so that I can help. The only help I want from you is to know what this means. What are them numbers? Bank account, phone number. Pierre O'Kant, is that a code or a company or a person? I'm asking you. All I know is Tina's missing because of them. Wayne's dead and I'm in hiding. Then you have to go to the police. I'll drive you. Come on. I'm perfectly capable of driving myself. Janine, if there is trouble in my organisation, then I want to root it out. So you tell those police everything you know. You're so good at this. I almost believe you. I'll pray for you, Janine. Pray for yourself. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil.
Where'd you go? The Philippines, remember? Oh, Linda. Sorry, I'm half asleep. Oh, I didn't wake you, did I? It's got to be close to midday there. Yeah, I slept in. How's it going? You're missing Melbourne's winter? Are you kidding? I'm loving this heat. That's great. Listen, about the home and dang bank nonsense. Oh, yeah. Did you go there? Did you talk to anyone? Yeah, letterbox. It asked after you. Um, I left you a message. Just an empty building, Jack. It's a scam. What kind of scam pays 25 grand? Did you actually get the money? Well, it went into my account, but then my account was frozen. Right, well, then it's a kind of idiot it'd fall for. It's an internet scam, Jack. Did you even check the website? It's a holding page. Hey, listen, did you check that mailbox? Was, is there any mail in there addressed to a person called Piero Kant? No. <laughs> You know, as if getting framed for murder wasn't enough, last night I got beaten up and pissed on. Well, that's nice. Did you pay for that too? Very funny. You're listening to a word I'm saying? Oh, shit! Where the hell's Orton? Ah, in a meeting. With who? Mr Gin and Mr Tonic. It's medicinal. Staves off from malaria. And in the seas, you have to keep your fluids up. The internet's crashed and the power's gone out because the I would lean on that if I were you. Had a dose of Legionnaires through the echo in a few months back. It's your health. Because the ceiling fan fell off. It nearly took out a stringer. Which one? Does it matter? I admit I have favourites. I guess I better screw it back up again. To take one moment for myself. Can you can you start with the internet? I need to get back online. What did you journalists do before the internet? Don't touch that. This could be live. Mm -hmm. yeah, just as I thought, the rats have been at it. Oh. Pete, go to the fuse box, will you? Would you find somewhere else to plug this in? Sure. And tell me when you have. All right, there you go. Okay, Pete. <laughs> Is the internet back on? <coughs> Great, excuse me, sorry. Why are you looking at this? I'm not, I'm minding my own business. What sort of a bank is this? Do you mind? fellas ever think about switching stools? You know, just to shake things up a bit. No way, right. This stool and my ass is one of the most successful relationships I've ever had. Fair enough. Thanks, Stan. Yeah. Yeah, Listen. Mm. This witness that the coppers reckon saw me leave the Palms Motel, supposedly with a gun, what can you tell me about her? You can't contact a witness, mate. How's it going to look? I can't let it go, mate. I need to know who set me up and why. Well, look at your track record. I mean, you've pissed off some people in some pretty high places. You're not exactly short on enemies. Brendan O'Grady. Jack fucking Irish. Happy anniversary, my friend. What, what anniversary is that? Four years of the day, you got me out of doing eight to ten in the nick. Oh, that rolls around pretty quick, eh? Once a year. It's not another kidney, is it? I don't want to spoil it, but you're going to love it. You really don't have to do this. I mean, the fact that you're wandering the streets freely, that's... that's thanks enough. Till next year, then. Or not. I mean, it's up to you. But don't, don't feel bad if you're busy or... Take it back, mate. You do have friends. He was your client. You owe me, OK? Mm. Listen, mate, you've got to give me something, all right? Donna. Donna Bick. 
aka Donna Double D, professional dancer. Not with the Royal Ballet, though. I take it. Here you go. You have that. Hello. Hello. I like fucking locusts around here. Jeez. Kiss your mother with that mouth, do you? Here. So how do you want me to handle this? I've included his browser history. <laughs> All the late night activity. His wife's in a wheelchair. MS. So what's he got? Before he left us, Mr. Gomes stole some financial records. Can he hurt us? Not if we can help it. This hearing is a farce. You're not investigating charity fraud. You're you're targeting environmental groups. Now I have evidence. Thank you, here. Mr. Gomes. You have 30 minutes on the 28th. We'll adjourn. Pandora box, sexy chats for you. Patience is directly silly. Everything I want. Pussy Willow. Ah, of course. The Willow family. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Not that you'd tell me if it wasn't. Why would I? I don't want to hear about your problems. It's not about the bankrupt payments, is it? You don't charge enough. You know, you could charge three times the amount. Handmade furniture is for everyone. Rich, poor, stupid. Besides, I have to discount for your handiwork. I don't even take a wage, remember? I purely come here for the sparkling conversation. Huh. Find your... Ah, oh, here we go. Donna Double D. You need this much sex? What are you? I don't need to take sex advice from a, a septuagenarian monk. No wonder she left you. Shh. It's ringing. This is Donna. Donna, hi. This is um, John, John English. Uh, I was just admiring your ad, and uh, I was wondering whether you'd do home visits. Oh, for you, honey, I'd do anything. But I'm going to have to call you back. I've got your number in my phone. I'll talk to you really soon, OK? OK. Longmore's only given me 30 minutes. But I've got a stack of financials. I've got a, a whistleblower that's ready to talk. What I've got will blow the lid on him. Shand, way of the cross, they're dead in the water. Hey, believe me. I want to bring these bastards down just as much as you do. We have to be very careful about the way we do this. It's been a very long crusade, my friend. How's Trish? Same. Going down a steep hill slowly. Yes, it's a bloody cruel disease. Must be hard on you. Oh, my sweet lord. What? Blonde Sheila by the Bailey. What about it? This is very hush-hush. I met her at a private party, very high-end affair. The girls there, mate, they would blow your mind. I was wondering how you'd feel about a visitor. I wouldn't want to just, you know, lob up. Feeling a bit gun-shy after last time. Uh, yeah, you could pop in. Great. Uh, you left without coffee. Wow. Has this got a name already? Relationship number 39. You know, this this isn't a relationship, Jack. You know, we've only slept together once. 
Well, twice if you count the alibi. How come you skulked off this morning? I didn't skulk. Was I that bad? Oh, what do you want a score out of ten? No, I just, you know, I'd had a pretty rough night getting beaten up by those blokes. And the ones who pissed on you? Only one of them pissed on me. Good for you. You've got to draw the line somewhere. Hey, I was, <clears throat> I was wondering about maybe seeing your dad, you know. He said that he paid Tina's bills and I thought maybe if we looked at her phone bills or her credit card records or something, it might give us something. Oh, we, we aren't an ass, Jack. I... Just forget it. Forget it. Look, I don't want to become one of your sculptors, OK? But I also don't... I don't really want to be your walk of shame either. Sorry. You're Jack Irish. Hmm? I take it she's not coming in? No. You know, the last time Siri and I spoke, she was yelling at me through a, a megaphone at a protest rally. It's actually Tina I'm here about. Everyone's an expert in what not to do, Mr. Irish, but the question is, what to do. That's what governing is, not sniping from the sidelines. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Have you heard from Tina lately? She's been away with the church. The Way of the Cross, one of those happy, clapping McMansion churches that springs up in the outer cesspits. The cesspits being her electorate, sir. Um, Sarah tells me you pay Tina's bills. I was just wondering if they might help us. What do you think with all of this? She's my daughter, for God's sake. The AFP commissioner informs me that she travelled back from the Philippines without any of her luggage. The Philippines? Hmm. You don't know if she happened to sort of receive a deposit from a Holman Dang bank, by any chance? <laughs> no. I'm her only bank. Now, the last call she made... Uh, ..was from uh, Mindanao Island. And the last purchase on a credit card was a train ticket from Sydney. She sent a text message to her junkie mate last week. Janine Balich? Mm. I'm not overly worried. This isn't the first time this has happened. I take it you've seen the uh, monstrosity she makes. Spent a fortune on a procession of shrinks. You can't treat madness. It's in the marrow. Well, maybe taking it out on sheet metal's the better option. Did she tell you she attacked some dead beat back at college with a broken bottle? Did you know that? No. Damn near killed him. You've been warned. No, they're a bloody mystery, women. I mean, one minute they tell you they love you, next minute they're poisoning your grey hair and running off with your cousin. Or you find out your Chinese lady friend is actually a Russian man. 
the perils of internet dating. Mm. So she hit a guy with a bottle. Apparently so. Best you found out now, I guess, before you get in too deep. Yeah. Maybe steer clear of sculptors, go for gentler art. Ah, she's a sculptor, the new one, is she, Jack? I thought you were deaf. The other ear. Oh. Well, we've been looking for a sculptor, the committee. Did my father tell you? Uh, that you hit someone with a bottle. Bullshit. He said I almost killed someone with a bottle. Yeah. And I bet he didn't tell you why. No. <laughs> he was my housemate's boyfriend. We all got drunk and he raped me. When I was asleep, I woke up. And he was on top of me, and I hit him with the nearest weapon that I could find. As hard as I could. And, um... You're the first person I've fallen asleep with since that happened. I don't know what that means. But I'm here. Good. Will you come in? Why don't you stay? You can fall asleep with me again. <laughs> Meet Holman Dang. Yeah. Philippe Holman, Eddie Dang. Holman is the doorman at the Belgian Embassy here, and Mr. Dang runs a Chinese laundry in downtown Manila. And they are as surprised as you are that they are running an international bank. One, I might add, with no record of any board members, employees, or shareholders. I know, I told Jack. Jack Irish, you know, he's an idiot. It's just an internet scam. Where did you find all of this? Not on the internet. Does anyone know Orton's surname? I thought Orton was his surname. Well, then what's his first name? Isn't it Orton? English. You must be Donna. You did mean 9 a.m. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a morning man. I like to, you know, get one in before work. Um, you did say 300, right? In here, or do you prefer the bedroom? Oh, here's fine. I'm told you can dance. Maybe you could do a bit of that while I finish the cereal. I didn't bring any music. Oh. I have music. Um, I'm suspecting not Mozart, right? The jazz, blues. No, oh, I know what we'll play. The Fitzroy Football Club song. Yeah. 
a hard woman to find, Donna. 22 suburban papers before I managed to track you down. Yeah, well, I like to think that I'm worth it. Mm-hmm. You must have a pretty amazing memory with all the men that you meet on a working day. You're going to talk the whole way through this? No, no, just carry on. I mean, it's just, you know, that you remember seeing me running away from the Palms Motel, and yet you didn't recognise me here at the front door. You weren't at the motel, were you? No, I saw what I saw. Someone's waiting for me outside. Mm, no, they're not. Let me out! You're going to need a key for that. Listen, about that gun that you supposedly saw me with, look anything like this? Who put you up to it, Donna? He, he never uses his name, but I heard someone call him Stedman once. Stedman. Hmm. Have a look at these. Is he any one of these? No. But I've seen these two before. They work security with him at the parties I work at. On these parties, when's the next one? Listen, I've recorded everything that you've said in the last five minutes. And I'm sure you realise that false evidence is, what, three to five years in prison? And as these are your best working years, obviously, you don't want to waste them, do you? They call me a couple of hours before with the venue. Right. Well, before the next one, you call me, OK? They'll kill me. If I don't hear from you, I'm going to take this to the police. Yeah? How did you know where I live? The internet. Can it wait for the office? No. You make us work in that dive all day and you live here. It's a palace. Do you own this? How? Drugs, guns. Salama. Salama. Is she your only servant? No. But she's the only one who's my mother in law. You married, you never mentioned that. To a local? Bar girl. My mother-in-law is part of the divorce settlement. It's how things work here. Listen, I need to go to Mindanao. <laughs> well, they love you down there. I'd pick a scarf if I were you. You, you know, they are trying to impose Sharia law. I'm meeting a contact who says he can get me to Haji Adib. Where are you meeting this contact? He's getting a message to me at the hotel in Davao tomorrow. How are you going to get around the island? Using that smattering of Italian of yours? Well, that's why I'm here. I want to take Adonis to interpret, and I'll, I'll cover his airfare. Makes sense. You'll save on your return ticket, and he can handle your funeral arrangements. I know what I'm getting into. Glad to hear it. Because between Haji Adib and the rival warlords, it's head on a stick territory down there. Then let me take Adonis. I'm doing this story. My head will be a lot safer there than under your dodgy ceiling fan. Jack? The wheel's turned up. Ah, finally. Any scratches? Ah. Uh, yes. Can't believe that that's all that's left of my car. Do you mind if I use some of the stuff? Sure. Why do they keep staring at me? 
Uh, Eric. This is our sculptor, isn't it? Yes. This is Sarah. Eric. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. How are you going? Oh. Well, yes. Done it now. We don't get too many artistic types around here. Uh, my name's Wilbur. Hello. <laughs> no. Yes. Sarah, we're members of the Fitzroy uh, Football Club Statue Committee and for a little while now... About 15 years. Uh, we've been planning a statue for the Brunswick Street Oval. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of, of the late Bill Irish. Oh. My dad was a leg footballer. And believe me, the apple fell a fair way from that tree. <laughs> That's Bill Irish. Yeah. Wow. He could make the ball talk, yeah. Bill Irish. Yeah, he was a ventriloquist as well. Uh, the thing is, Sarah, that we could be in the position to steer a pretty big project your way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would be an honour. Um, I'd, I'd need to know a bit more about Bill Irish. Well, yeah, well, look, come and see for yourself, because we got a memorabilia back here in the pool room. Yeah. Come on. It's more like a tomb. Yeah. It's sort of yeah. guessing the incense. But right. Go and have a look. It's Can't wait. Very exciting. <clears throat> oh, he was a hard yes. bastard. Where are we going? Violence was an art form with him, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But he was always fair. He was fair, but that was fair. You know, next time I should just cut out the middleman and just pour the beer straight down the tunny. Hey, listen, has it occurred to you at all that maybe this conspiracy theory of mine might actually be a conspiracy? Oh, God, here we go. Look, everyone connected to my stitch up has either been murdered or has died in an accident. Yeah? Wayne Dilthey, Travis Dilthey, aka Bobby Warburton, Janine Balich, and Sarah's sister still missing. Mate, you're talking about an ex con junkie, a pole dancer, and some poof actor. Mate, the society murders. The chance of Janine being a regulation garden variety road accident is about the same as you becoming chief commissioner, right? You know what this is about? It's about drugs. Bullshit. No. Bullshit. I reckon Tina's seen something. I reckon she's running away from something because she's got something on them. She's told Janine about it. It's all connected to the, to this prison and the church. I don't know. Man, it's always about drugs. It's just a matter of which one. Listen. You recognise these blokes, right? Well, yeah, because it's the Whitehill Correctional Bloody Yearbook. All of them got an early release. Any chance that any of them can become better members of society, you reckon? Him. Dorothy's dead. Oh, exactly. He's a better man for it. Come on, no one ever gets reborn. We're all the same pricks we were when we were abseiling off our mum's umbilical. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Welcome. Hey. Good morning. Hey. Yeah, come, thank God. Hey. Uh, he will take care. Are you here to check in? Yeah, two rooms for earlier. Yes, we made a booking yesterday for two separate rooms in Batas. Do you have business center with computers? And what's the internet password? What are you doing in Mindanao? Oh. <clears throat> I was in need of a holiday. You don't work. Which is its own stress, really. This isn't some misguided attempt at chivalry, I hope. No, no. Pure self-interest. Which is all chivalry ever was in the first place. I'm... Interested in some property down here? Oh, your rookie? Did you know he was coming? No. Yeah. Uh, maybe.
I told you to keep me out of this mess of yours? Well, let me tell you again, I just hit one button on only one of your names and the heavens opened up. Did you find out anything? Yeah, look, there's one thing, but you didn't hear this from me. Janine Balich's phone records. She made three calls before she died in order one person. Oh, yeah? Past the Rob Shand? Oh, not from, um, from way of the cross. Yeah, way of the credit card, more like it. Now, listen, mate, I don't want to hear from you again unless this thing turns out to be a simple drug case. You got it? Yeah. Jesus was an alien. I'm thinking of buying this CD. Really? Mm -hmm. Super cool, right? Oh, you feel him in the music, don't you? Oh, I feel something. <laughs> Hi, Kylie. We were hoping to have a chat to Pastor Rob Shand. Oh, no, sorry. You have to book months ahead. Pastor Rob's super busy. Busiest man in the world. <laughs> About the nicest. Well, that's super disappointing. Oh, with you, excuse me. Oh, what is it about the pious that makes you just want to smash him in the face? Uh, Pastor Rob. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, folks, I've got a radio interview I've got to do. Uh, wait, we just want to take a second. I want to ask you about my sister, Tina Longmore. She's disappeared. Oh, Tina, Tina, she was part of your prison outreach program. I tend to do the preaching, others do the reaching. Well, then you, or your church, sent her to the Philippines for aid work. We have over 30,000 parishioners. The thing is, she sure just I left can. the Philippines really suddenly without her luggage. And, and now her flat has been ransacked. The one person she's spoken to since she got back was Janine Balich, who is a member of your church, and she's now turned up dead. And you were the last person that Janine spoke to, so I thought you might know something. Yes, Janine. Um, very troubled girl, and we've been worried for some time that she would harm herself. Um, Try and help, but, well, she's with the Lord now. But she's doing cartwheels. I'm really very late, I'm sorry. Sorry, are you sure you don't know her? I'm sorry. Well, we now know why they sent Tina to the Philippines. Why? Because he was shagging her. Oh. A man like that doesn't get a face like hers. Trust me. Right, so it's there, along the bay of our... Better get a move on if we're gonna make it by three. Interesting. Local fish market supply in this region has been down the past two weeks. Riveting. How is it this property you're interested in happens to be on our way? Unusual to run out of fish here. know if Orton's your first name or your last name. I'm sorry, is that a rhetorical question? Or why you have a European accent and an English name. Oh. The mayor says market supplies from the province have never been so long. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Because I don't think Charlie's ever had a woman in the workshop before. <laughs> Did you find your prostitute? Charlie, this is Sarah. Sarah, Charlie. Oh. Does he really do cabinet making? Not that you'd notice. This is a little table that I've been working on. Ah, oh, you're doing all that by hand. Yeah, made to order. 
mortise and tenon joint. Oh. Mm, beautiful. Come, I'll show you. Jack will make us some tea. Yeah, I'll make tea. Are you making a set? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is this one of his? Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, may fishing village, Dito. Apo, Dito, po. Hey, you know I have to be there at three, yes? Ah, pare pare si na sabi nila. Binyaran para umalis sa kanilang mga lupa. Yung yung si na sabi nila. English, English. What did they say? He has to be asking directions. I have a map. They're all saying the same thing. Villagers are being driven out of this region. By how do you do? No, by a little outfit called Holman Dang Trustees. I told you, I was interested in property. Well, it seems they are too. How do you know all of this? I helped myself to one of their bills and ran it past my contact at the town's office in Manila. He spoke to people, they spoke to people. It seems the bank are buying huge parcels of land at bargain basement prices. By the way, Linda, you might have to sit in the back now, please. Go left, yeah? Lumba Bayaval Strait. You're not taking me to the gatekeeper, are you? God, no. You just end up with your head on a spike. Which would be a shame. Yours is not an unattractive head. Seems to go well with the rest of your body. Speaking of uh, heads, you guys better keep yours down now. Warlord territory. So where are we going? Uh, there's meant to be a fishing village down the road a while. Locals are saying something happened, and they are frightened to go there. The markets don't often run out of fish here. It could be a story. This one go, I let you go. Night, Charlie. Well, I've never seen him gush like that before. Gush? Yeah, not bad. In Charlie speak, that's positively waxing lyrical. I've waited years for a not bad. So what are your plans tonight? You staying back late to do some tongue and groove work? Maybe. That'll be your prostitute. <sighs> oh, yeah, so it is. Do you feel like going to a party? Sweetheart, you're probably asleep. I'm going to be a little bit late home tonight. Your medicine's by the bed, but please don't wait up for me. I love you. A 
first proper date and you invite me to a sex party. How is it you're still single? Mobile phones, cameras, recording devices. It's for your benefit, not ours. What's in it? Decadence. Adonis, tell me you know where we are. Oh, I thought I did. That was hours ago. Admit it, we're lost. Let's just turn around. We can try again tomorrow. What's more dangerous? Are we better off continuing or turning around? Um, I think better we continue. Seal of time.
intruder. Level two, south corridor. Texas. Why won't it start? I don't know. I'll go check. Someone put a big pile of rocks on the road. What? Well, how bad is it? English. The oil sample is done. The car won't go anywhere. Let's just get out of here. No, 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 no. Stay. It's best we stay here until daylight. Looks like we're staying in the car tonight. Found Tina. 